Why hello there Anxious Cynic back again continuing our beginner's guide in Minimator and today we're going to show how to place blocks very similar to how you would do it in Minecraft. So as you can see here we've got a Steve set up with a stone in his hand. I've already gone ahead and done this. This is the same as our parenting items tutorial that we did earlier in the series. Uh, so I went ahead and had that set up but what we're going to do is just animate him and then have some blocks placed in the scene. So first let's just go ahead and do a basic little animation of Steve kind of doing that little Minecraft wave thing that you do in the game when you place blocks. So we're gonna start out with the base position here and let's just say, it should be a pretty quick animation. So we're just gonna kind of bring the arm out and up, something like that. And then maybe we'll just go out a little bit further. The arm will kind of come over like this maybe, something like that and then back down to neutral. Let's just play that and see what it looks like. All right, so obviously that's happening way too slow, so we're gonna go ahead and drag these keyframes in. Uh, we just kind of had those out so that we could see how things are gonna look. All right, so that's not too terrible. What I wanna do is just bring this up, I mean down a little bit, maybe a little bit further out, something like that to give a little bit more difference between those two keyframes there. I think this could actually happen even faster. Let's just go ahead and mess with these keyframe distances real quick. This one could actually be brought in, so this one is a little bit longer of an animation. There we go. Let's just say that that's what we're gonna go with there. And we can even mess with the body a little bit maybe. Maybe we'll have a, uh, kind of lean this way just a tad. We'll go about 0.9. And then over here, we'll have it kind of come back this way a bit. Let's go about negative 0.5 or something. And then back to zero again. And we can even kind of have it lean forward a tad at this point. Let's just say about two or something. And we'll see what that looks like. Something like that. That's a basic little animation there that we can do for the block placing thing. So now we just need the block to show up in the scene. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and spawn in another stone, since this is the block that we're using. Create that. I'm gonna select the stone and I'm gonna turn on the grid snapping here because we have this at even increments. So we're gonna have that like so. And we're just gonna put this here, like maybe right there, something like that. That seems like a good distance from Steve. And uh, what we're gonna do is have this invisible by default. So we're gonna go ahead and have it like that. And then basically what we wanna do is, let me go ahead and save. Uh, when he does his arm like so, maybe at this point, right about there when he's finishing the wave. So we're gonna have the keyframe there. We're gonna toggle visible and then you'll get this. Boop, just like so. He waves, puts his hand up there. I kinda feel like the arm could kinda come up a little bit further. Maybe like that, we'll see what that looks like. This is a little detail, boop. But let's say we want them to kinda, you know, put more blocks in. So what I'm gonna do, and we're gonna use uh, this stone here to keep things organized. So we're actually gonna parent this as though he's like building a structure of some kind. So we're gonna go ahead, oops, there's a trash bar. We're gonna drag this, hover it over, plop it right there. And as you may recall, the position becomes relative at that point. So we're gonna go ahead and toggle all these to zero. So basically you're gonna have two blocks over one. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna drag these keyframes out here. So that way we can kind of use the preset keyframes that we have. But we're just gonna grab these, I'm gonna highlight both of them. You don't really have to for the one that's invisible, but for the sake of continuity, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, we're gonna just find this block. Okay, we accidentally didn't, I didn't save it. I didn't do the uh, position for this one. Sorry about that. All right. Crisis averted. So now we have this block here. We're just gonna drag it up since we have snapping enabled and it's by default 16. So that means they're gonna be like perfectly aligned with that grid snapping. And all we have to do is just pretty much, you know, copy these keyframes just the way we'd want to. I'm gonna go ahead and copy, control V to paste and something like that. And then try to align this up the same as we did the last one. So it should be on this keyframe when we want it to go like that and then Boop, you get him placing multiple blocks like so. Now this key, this animation here is not good. Uh, I would probably spend much more time on that if I was you know, making an actual animation, but that's the basic movement there. And he's just placing blocks. 
that's uh, not too bad. And then you can just keep adding blocks to this. Like if you go ahead and duplicate from here, then as you may recall from previous tutorials, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it will remain parented. So you don't have to keep positioning things uh, manually like we did earlier with the first one. So you can just do that, bring out the next one, and then go ahead and plop it up to the next part wherever you want it to be. Maybe we want this one to come over here like so. And uh, we'll just do like that. And then all we would have to do, I think we still have those keyframes copied, so I'm gonna hit Control V and paste, and yes, we do. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we'll actually take, we'll just grab the body here, all those keyframes, and we're just gonna have it go ahead and rotate like this, so he kind of looks over. And then let's see what that looks like. Get a couple of, ugh, get a couple of angles on it. Boop, just like so. Let's go ahead and look at it from over here. <laughs> it blocks the camera. Anyway, as you can see there, he looks over and he places them and that looks pretty Minecrafty to me. Uh, this is just a way to do it if you want it to be kind of like Minecraft. Of course, you can do more realistic movements and have them actually place the block. I have an order tutorial on that. I may do a revised one soon or eventually uh, for a realistic block kind of carrying and placing it and stuff. But this is a way you can do it pretty quickly and easily in Minecraft style in Minimator. Like if you were doing a Sky Wars animation or something and you wanted them to build a bridge. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned something. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share it with your friends, your family, your pets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.